Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare. So, for today's video, we're going to do a first impression of the new Issy & Co. Hydra Gloss. And we're going to be doing some swatches, some demos, and really find out what makes this product different. So, dami dami ng lip gloss na nilabas dito sa Pilipinas since last year. What makes this product different? Aside from doing beauty reviews of makeup and skincare, I also like to play around with my collection, like really dive into my relationship with beauty. I don't like to overspend on beauty products anymore. I've been there and it's not a good place to be. So those are the types of content that I like to do in my channel. If this content sound good to you, then please do subscribe to my channel as well as clicking on the notification bell right beside it so that you'll get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. Let's go to the nitty gritty but before I move into you know the actual review I would like to tell you guys that I've tried this na twice last night. I tried two shades lang last night and yun lang. Nothing else like I I really wanted to try it out because I'm so very curious. Ako. Of course, the product details, product links, prices will be down in the description box below. And of course, I want to tell you guys that this was sent to me in PR by Issy and Co. And nagkapasalamat ako sa inyo kasi my two Issy and Co. reviews have been very well received by you guys. So thank you so much. You know, if it wasn't for your support, I wouldn't be receiving this and I, I wouldn't be filming this video for you today. And ayun, nagkapasalamat lang talaga ako sa inyo unang-una. So, okay, let's move on to the details first, what this product is all about. So, doon sa PR package ni Issy & Co, they gave me this parang card. Ayan. Ang ganda, alam mo, ang ganda-ganda niya. Like, she reminds me so much of Karil. I really like her. I don't mind seeing her face everywhere. Alam mo yun, ang ganda Ganda niya lang talaga, girl, pa autograph. I'm gonna tell you some parts of the influencer brief, or at least kung ano yung sinabi nila sa amin and what their idea was behind this product. They really didn't want something na you know aesthetic lang, like pure makeup. They also want to make it functional. They just really want something that's gonna give you the aesthetics of a lip gloss but at the same time the hydrating benefits of a lip oil. Kumaga itong product na to, the official description of it is a hydrating lip treatment. Sabi ni dito, this lip treatment adds a sheer wash of color and visibly improves and condition the lips with frequent use. So the Hydra Gloss is now available sa Lazada and Shopee stores ng Issy & Co. It retails for 299 pesos and my promo price sila na buy 3 get 1 free. So for 900 pesos you get all 4 of the shades na when I ask them until when is the promo they said up Depende yan daw sa stock. So, ayan. So, get it while you can if you want. Ito, ito siya. Ganito yung packaging niya, guys. It comes in a plastic bottle na glossy finish. Hindi na siya matte this time. And it contains 4.5 ml for 299 pesos. And there are four shades available here, guys. First one that we have here is Surf, which is clear as a jellyfish. The next one is Love Boat, a rosy sunburn. Baywatch, a cool aid red, and bikini, as nude as a beach. So I like their names. <laughs> Can I just say I like their names and I like the description because it's sobrang in theme ng talaga with you know summer beachy ganon. It feels like a di disco beach party parang ganon yung peg nila guys. Ito yung doe foot guys. Have you did you see the doe foot? It's curved like that. I've never seen a doe foot like that. It's curved and it really hugs the lips. Tapos pag nakikita mo dun sa side niya, parang it points na medyo may pointy uh, center siya dun sa tip. Parang may pointy tip siya. Ayan. And curved siya like that. Ito daw yung pinakamatagal nilang dinevelop guys. Yung doe foot. So let's dive into the ingredients kasi yun yung medyo heavy, no? With Joel and Slow Makeup. Yung si Joel, yung creative director ng Isin Co. And then si Slow Makeup Artist na I really, really love. They, they both are ingredient junkies. Like, skincare junkies talaga sila. So, dinive into that nila. So, what's in this product ba talaga? There are three things that you need to look at if you want to look for a moisturizer sa skincare. Humectants, your emollients, and your occlusives. So, ang humectants, guys, these are water attracting ingredients. They're just water magnets. Think of them as water 
water magnets. Next naman is yung emollients mo. And these are the ingredients that make your skin feel smooth and very soft. Ganon yung emollients. Next naman is your occlusive. So they, they seal the moisture in. So they prevent the water na na-attract ng, ng humectants from evaporating. So let's go through humectants. So humectants mo dito is your sodium hyaluronic, your aloe vera, and your panthenol. And you have your emollients here, which is your jojoba oil. Very light oil siya. I like jojoba. And also, ethyl hexyl palmitate. Eclusives, which are your coconut oil, mineral oil, and as well as your shea butter. There's also niacinamide in here, which helps with the moisture, keeping the moisture in as well. Meron pang isang special ingredient dito, which I've never seen in a lip product before. And that is a lactic acid. If you know what lactic acid, guys, so this is your alpha hydroxy acid and they help exfoliate your skin. It's also humectant, so it helps as well with the moisture and all of that. So, talagang na intriga ako with just the ingredients alone, kasi I've never seen a lip product na ganon. Like, kompleto sa tatlo. Like with all formulas of Izzy & Co, this product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, gluten-free, preservative, safe, and dermatologist-tested. Let's move on to the swatches. Alright, so with Surf, okay, ito yung feel ko sa Surf, and first of all, ang na-feel ko sa kanya, it's very lightweight, it glides on smoothly, it, it's kind of the liquidy, parang lip oil gloss na hybrid, I wouldn't say na lip gloss siya na thick, okay, it's a very thin formula, like hindi siya stringy, it's lightweight, it feels very smooth when you apply this into your lips, it feels very silky on the lips, I think it's like very runny, yung formula niya. I wouldn't say na runny na to the point na nag-drip siya, but it's runny in a sense that it gets inside my mouth. And wala silang flavor, no? Fragrance free to, guys. Lahat to, walang flavor. I'm okay lang with this product. So now, let's move on to the next one, which is Love Boat. In fairness, though, when I removed it, my lips feel very soft. Wow, this color is really nice. I like the color. This one feels very different from Surf. Because it's a Surf, it's very runny. And talagang it goes into my mouth. This one doesn't. When I'm talking, it doesn't go into my mouth. Feels a little slightly thicker na lip gloss. Ito talaga, feel ko lip gloss, yung, yung that type of thing. And from what I could tell, the shade has like silvery specks of particles siya. Like very, very tiny shimmery specks. And it just enhances. It makes it look plump. It makes it look shiny. I like Love Boat. Ang ganda lang niya. Ang ganda lang ng nude niya. It just makes me look so fresh. Look so natural. Ang ganda lang tulugon yung gross. Like it covered my lips. Hindi siya mukhang pale. Hindi siya mukhang patay. Alam mo yun. Kita mo rin yung kulay ng lips mo. Pero it just gives it more life. Okay, we have to talk about bikini. Uh, this one is very nice. Same consistency as Love Boat. Iba talaga yung consistency ni Sir from what I could tell. Wala talaga siyang base pigment. Just really plain shimmer in it. Looks like an eyeshadow. Ganun yung itsura niya. And hindi siya rin nagsisip in dun sa mouth ko. Shiny pa rin siya guys. Kasi nang gusto ko talaga yung pagka-shine niya. It's the formula and of course the shimmer that's making it glow like this, na mukhang plump and all that. I like this also. <laughs> so far, nagustuhan ko both itong dalawa, yung colored ones. Hindi talaga nagustuhan si Surf. Sabi ni Slow, this is a lip gloss na parang transformer shade daw that you can pair this very well with your lip colors, parang ganon, to give it an extra something. 
And to me, this looks like a parang rose gold kind of shimmer. Pagka bronzy, may pagka pink tone. Um, very, very beautiful shade. This reminds me of something that's very similar in my collection later. Let's try it out. Ang ganda niya. Tsaka niya siya stringy. Diba? Walang... Walang stringiness, nothing like that. I really like the formula so far. It's really doing well. And my lips feel so soft every time na tinatanggal ko yung product from my, from my lips. So this color, don't get intimidated by this color, guys. It's really nice. Type of red na naglilin towards pink. Ganong type of red siya. And I like this. It's not my favorite. I still prefer my nudes. Kasi bihira talaga ako nagre-red. But it's a very nice red. It's may slight, slight gold shimmer siya. Like lahat sila may shimmer. Except for surf. Wala talaga akong madetect na shimmer yung kay surf. And ayan. Let's move on to the comparisons. Tong si Bikini. It reminds me so much of Dupiter. Si Hyper Gleam. I'm gonna put it there. So Hyper Gleam muna sa taas. And then Bikini will be down below. So ito guys, as you can see, ito si Dupiter. Tapos ito si Bikini. Kung makikita nyo yung shimmers niya, medyo may pagka bronziness sila pareho. Eh, but when it's in this way, makikita mo na mas brown si Bewa, si Bikini. Tapos si Dupiter, parang may mas rosy, rosy tone siya. But they're quite close on the lips. I don't think naman na it's gonna look different, you know, when you apply this in your lips. Unless pinul opacity mo siya. Like you layered and layered it on, ganun. So for our next comparison, I'm gonna compare the Hydra Gloss in Love Boat. Hyper Gleam Plush Cake and as well as yung Fenty Glow. So, ganito yung comparisons, guys. This is Plush Cake, this is Love Boat, and this is the Fenty Gloss. Uh, plush Cake is very, very pink. Pink to gold yung color niya. Yung si Love Boat, it has more peachy tones, parang mas darker siya. Well, si Fenty Beauty is just, you know, peach. They're both peachy, parang both on the warm side, but mas darker lang si Love Boat. And from what I could tell, may parang pagka pink to. Ito talaga parang peachy lang talaga siya. Ito may pagka pink talaga. Also guys, dun sa Baywatch, I have several lip glosses here that I could compare this with. So, let's try it out. I made a little drawing here in my hand. And in the middle is Baywatch from yung Essie and Co. This one is Hyper Gleam's Holly Berry. This is a limited edition shade. But this one at the bottom, this is from Strokes PT Labs. This is their Silk Kiss Lip Oil in the shade Tempting Red. So, ito yung lip blast from Gocera, guys. This is very berry and then bloody mirrors sa baba. As you can see, the closest dupe that I could find, at least my counting similarity here, is itong dalawa, si Strokes PT Lab and as well as yung Baywatch from NC Co. From what I could tell here, Strokes PT Lab has blue undertones. Like, my slight blue undertones, while well, this one is pink talaga. Like, very bright yung pagka-red niya. So, ayan. Ganyan na si Bikini right now, guys. As in, wala akong ginawang iba. Ganito si Bikini. Hindi na siya red. Mukha lang itong strawberry pink. Ganun na siya yung itsura niya sa akin. So, I'm not really sure why. Um, Formula-wise, I know, I can't really compare this to anything that I've tried na lip gloss masyado. Kasi si Fenty Beauty, medyo thick siya. It's really goopy. Hindi ko siya gusto. And then, kung si Hyper Gleam naman, kung kinumpare ko siya doon, si Hyper Gleam kasi parang mas madulas yung feeling niya. Mas cloud, mas plush yung feeling niya. This one kasi is mas lighter. So, mas thicker for me si Hyper Gleam. Um, in terms of, wala na ako talaga compare this with eh. Kasi si Strokes Beauty Lab din. Mas thicker pa siya kay Hyper Gleam. Couldn't really compare it with. Like, wala akong mahanap na close to this formula. Na hydrating, very lightweight, but still nourishing yung feeling niya. Gusto ko lang itry kasi sabi nila, pwede daw i-mix and match to. I'll try to mix the three colored shades daw. And I'm thinking of trying this out with 
different formulas kung paano siya. Just wanna see it as a lip topper. How does it perform as a lip topper? Ganun. So this is the Frankenstein Hydra Gloss, guys. I mixed Love Boat Bikini and si Baywatch together. And ito yung pinalabasan niya. It's very nice, healthy pink na may parang bronzy shimmer. Ganun yung itsura niya. I like it. I really like this color. So I they release a color that's a mixture of the three. Because I honestly, I, I like that you can mix them together to create your own custom shade. But, ayun, I just find it inconvenient. <laughs> just because, ano, hindi ko alam kung paano ko sila i-mix together, alam mo yun. Now, I wanna try it out with lipsticks, yung mga lip tints ko and all that stuff. So, guys, I have Penny from Dear Self Beauty on my lips right now. I just want to use Surf. And hopefully, hindi niya nga scrape yung color. Ayun, ang ganda niya sa lip topper. But... Again, may konting transfer dun sa doe foot applicator. Ayan, ang ganda. Ang ganda ni Sir. Pero Ronnie pa rin siya. And, ayan. Madali naman siyang linisan, guys. Just use a tissue to wipe off the lip gloss. Ayan. Malinis na yung doe foot niya. Next, I wanna try it with lipstick. So, ito naman yung Moonfire. Ayan, I wanna try it with that. And I wanna try si Bikini on top of Moonfire from BLK. Ay, pak! Ang ganda! Ah, ang ganda! Mm. It adds a lot of gloss, a lot of shimmers on my lips. Ayan siya, parang may metallic sheen siya dun sa lips ko. Now, it doesn't look dated. Alam mo yun. Bikini is really, really nice. I love bikini. Yan, ang gandong. Next, guys, I tried it with cream tint. This is in the shade Desert Rose. I was also going to be using Surf. Ayan, medyo nagda-dry down na si Desert Rose. But let's try it out. Wow! Ang ganda. I like how it doesn't mess up the formula very much. Like, hindi siya, hindi niya na rub off. I don't know. I just like trying it out to see with different formulas. And I think it works. Alright, guys. So, I hope that you enjoyed this swatch party and as well me trying out the Hy Hydra Gloss as lip toppers. So, ayun. Let's talk about the formula. The formula I like. I really like the formula. Except for Surf, yung pinaka least na favorite ko. Just because na it's more on the runnier side and I could really feel it going inside my mouth. Even as a lip topper, I could still feel that this is sipping inside my mouth. And then yung pinaka favorite ko siguro right now is Love Boat because I can wear it on its own. Also, and then second siguro si Bikini. Hindi naman ako masyadong into brown but I, I appreciate na nandito si Bikini because si Bikini yun, mas versatile product lang siya. You could use it as a lip topper knowing na clear base lang siya. Yun nga, it's a transformer shade which I appreciate that. And I like na hindi siya mukhang dated. <laughs> Ito si Baywatch. I'm surprised that I like this too. Kasi yung tignan mo from the bottle, it looks really shockingly red. Pero on the lips, di ba? Okay naman siya. It's not so bad. It's not bad and I like it. The formula of these three, I like way, way, way better than this one. Yung pagka-shine niya, sobrang ganda lang talaga. It looks very nice, smooth. Parang wala akong nakikitang uh, settling of pigments on my fine lines. Ganon. Very even lang siya. Hindi mo masyado kita yung texture ng lips, which I like. It looks very plump. And I like na buildable din yung shades netong tatlo. Now, if I'm going to be picky with this one, yung applicator niya is something that I might not be used to yet. I like that they changed the curve because in theory it looks really nice but when I was applying it kasi, how I position my wand when I apply my upper lip dun ako nagkaka problema kasi it's kind of pokey pag ganito yung curve niya dapat nakaganyan siya para mahug niya talaga yung lips ko but I don't apply pro lip products like this dun sa upper lip ko I usually do like this parang pa cross so na feel ko na pa poke ako slightly and dun sa uh, lower lip ko kasi pagkaganong ko dito sa lips 
I could feel this one, yung itong end na to, dun sa base niya, yung pag base nung pag curve nung applicator. I could feel this one poking my lips. I I appreciate the thought here. I appreciate it talaga. Like, you, the thought of it, yung development into it. It's very nice. I've never seen a doe foot like this before. Why maybe I just need getting used to it pa. I kind of wish na it was more flexible. You know, when I move it around, it doesn't poke me. And if the doe foot is more fluffy, baka that could help. So, but that's me being picky na. So, let, give me some time to get used to it. Baka I'll figure it out, you know. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. Overall, ang ganda talaga ng formula niyo, guys. I really couldn't find anything that's very or closely similar to the formula of this one. The product itself is not unique, alam mo yun. Parang lip gloss, hindi siya unique. But I like their take on this lip gloss. I like their take on this. It does feel hydrating. It does feel very nice on the lips. Hindi siya sticky, hindi siya goopy, hindi siya heavy on the lips. You could feel that there's something on the lips, but you know, you're comfortable. I really like this formula. And I feel that this release is justified in the sense na there is something different in the market. Market. Natagal nilang din develop to. I could really tell that. Having said that, with the price of 299 pesos, I think that I'm okay with it. It's not the most cheap. It's not the most expensive either. I mean, mas expensive pa si Fenty Beauty and sobrang wow. Ayo ka talaga yon. This I I prefer this one more than the most expensive lip gloss that I have in my collection. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you find the comparisons and using them as lip toppers helpful because I am curious myself. So gusto ko na lang to share din yung information dun sa inyo. If you have any further questions na hindi ko na cover dito sa video na to, please feel free to leave those questions down below para ma-answer ko kayo. Or if you're too shy to put them down sa comments, just DM me on my Instagram, si Carrot, Carrot Stick Beauty. Ayan. My details will be down below for you guys. So, ayon, Thank you so much again, Izzy and Co. for giving me the opportunity to try these products out early on. And thank you so much for sending this to me. Thank you for you guys for supporting me on this, on my YouTube channel. It really means a lot to me. I wouldn't be able to do this right now for you guys if it wasn't for you guys. So, thank you, thank you, thank you talaga so much. I hope to see you in my next video. Much love. Bye-bye.